And guys, we are here at Time Zone, June Lup. big in here guys. I'll tell you what, I love the fact they have these uh, midnight maximum tune. This is the Pac-Man game I was talking about in the car. Pac-Man Smash. I reckon uh, me and Mitch are going to have a go on this definitely later. Remember how it works. So all the, uh, all the pills drop out the side there onto the play field and then uh, you're basically playing air hockey. Really cool. And I can see something else caught my eye. Got uh, Pac-Man, another version. Ticket Mania, this, is, this looks cool. I love what they do with the LED lights. Awesome. And tucked over here is Ghostbusters. And we've got like a, uh, that's really cool. Like a mini, mini bowling alley, that's awesome. Got the good old uh, coin slider machines. This is where uh, a version of these back in the day is what I used to play all the time to get enough 20 cent pieces for Galaga. <laughs> so, Alright, let's keep going around. And what's this? Angry Birds Arcade. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Check this out. So you've got like a massive virtual slingshot. Wow, that is so cool. That is really cool. We're gonna have to maybe try that out, I think, for sure. Walking Dead. That's pretty awesome. And this is what I mean about these environmental uh, cabinets, guys. They're just insane. And this is the thing that we went on last time these uh, vibrating seats called Typhoon and uh, look you, you lie on here like it's uh, some sort of massaging thing <laughs> the whole thing vibrates to hell it's pretty damn cool Typhoon okay we got a number of Crane machines, always got to see. And then the slider machine, Wizard of Oz, Mario Kart. That's cool. That is cool. Temple Run, how awesome is that? Of course, that was a iOS game, wasn't it? On the App Store. Here we can smack this thing hard and uh, try and get up, whack and win. And wow, Time Crisis 4 still lives on. This is probably, if I'm looking around here, probably the oldest game here, but still people love Time Crisis. And those, those screens are uh, struggling a little bit in the light. Frog Frenzy, Whack-A-Mole. Big Buck Hunter. Big Buck Wild HD. Uh, never, again, never really got into those Big Buck Hunter games. And then we've got uh, a number of cool games for the Little Kids, Pirate Hook, Ducky Splash, <laughs> Horse Play, 
Oh, done really well, actually, guys. I, I think that it's you know well worth coming down to play these games, just given the way the cabinets look. Look at this thing, this Sega game. Look at this wild adventure. How cool that is! <laughs> wow. That is so cool. Again, a fairly. Uh, Say Let's go, oh, let's go jungle. Lost on the island of spice. That is so bizarre. Right. A couple of Fast and the Furiouses. We've got super bikes. We've got Guitar Hero. And ah, the good old Jurassic Park. Well, that's cool. So this is another relatively. It's a relatively old game, or it's one that's been updated. Not the original Jurassic Park. Got a fruit ninja sitting out the front of it. But yeah, guys, I don't know if that's an update. Looks like an updated Jurassic Park. Cool topper on the top. And guys, look! Daytona USA! <laughs> Can't believe it! There you go, from early 90s and still very much uh, a game that's played in a modern arcade. That's just awesome, but no one's playing it. <laughs> They're all working though. That's good to see. When we see one of these is, uh, is down. The Chameleon Parade. Another little kids game and a skill tester. So that guys looks I still can't believe they've got Daytonas here, that is so good, and four of them as well. That's pretty much it. Around the uh, the other side is uh, Jackpot Games, Deal or No Deal, <laughs> Milk Jug Toss. <laughs> wow. That's bizarre. Okay, and then we've got Basketball Games. And then there's just a few more skill tester games. So that's it guys. But I reckon it's pretty damn impressive. Pretty happy they got Time Crisis. Uh, Jurassic Park looks pretty cool too. The Angry Birds looks awesome. And uh, of course the Daytonas, wow. See how this thing plays. Mitch is going to have a go. So I'll get around the other side and film inside. Better if I actually sit in here. Full experience. Big subwoofer just kicked me in the butt. You could feel that vibrating. <laughs> that is so cool. Dual fire, do the fires do anything different there, Mitch? I have to try to wipe that out. Alright. Does it feel in terms of accuracy, Mitch? Is it pretty accurate? Yeah, it feels like a shot. I mean, I guess you've got the cursor on the screen, right? So you can sort of see exactly where it's going to hit. Yeah. 
it's an on-rail shooter. Um, there's not a lot of control other than you obviously just shooting and following the movie, but that's half the experience, especially in this cabinet. Nice one. So how do you do you lose part of your energy that depletes or something or how do you uh, bottom left. down the bottom left? Okay, there we go. We need you. Wow. <laughs> what did you think though, Mitch? That was pretty good. Alright? Yeah. I mean you can't really move around in that. So well, yeah. except for you know, I have no no idea what these two did. It just I just pressed the them. Same. Nothing happened. I was holding both down to shoot. Yeah, just right. Just because I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty cool though in here in terms of being an environmental cabinet and the uh, the subwoofer shakes and that really freaked me out. The first one yeah. <laughs> kicked me in the back. Till next week, um, I shall bid farewell and uh, again look after yourself and play your games, all that good stuff. And of course, if you are out of coinage and don't have any money in your wallet, then the first thing you need to do is turn to the closest person to you and say, have you got a twin? Chicken fight like a robot.